It appears that the rumor mill has been producing a rather bleak view of our current situation as of late, especially after the latest news on the Kilrathi Blitzkrieg attack against Pistango 10. You all know what I think of rumors and those who spread them. However, I do think it is my responsibility to help set the record straight on issues that may affect your morale. I want you to keep something in mind. None of you know exactly how the war is going. In truth, things may be worse than you imagine, or they may be better. The only thing you have any certain knowledge of, and any control over, is the part of the war that is in front of you now, and the missions and objectives that are given to you. If you cave to the rumors, and approach the war as if it was already lost, then rest assured, you will lose, and let down not only your fellow comrades here, but also many good people back home who need us to turn things around. As some of you might already know, we had a visit from a courier ship from Sector HQ today. On board was a special envoy carrying new orders. The Kilrathi's escalation to the use of bioweapons has been a wake-up call to all of us, and Confed is not turning a deaf ear to that call. Rest assured, we shall retaliate. The specifics of our counter-strike are still classified. What I can tell you is that our orders are to survey the sector for a suitable target planet. This means extensive recon work, checking defenses, and surveying planets. This must all be done discreetly in order not to tip our hand to the cats. Therefore, rather than utilizing a large strike force, five individual carriers will be sent to recon the prospective systems. Our friends from the Bradshaw will go to the Hawkins system while the Kinney will deploy to Nephilim. The Victory and Ticonderoga will do reconnaissance in Ariel and Tyrell May using the Caliban and Selenos nebulas for a covert approach, which the light carriers are well suited to carry out. The Hermes has been assigned to the Loci system. We are already underway. Stay sharp, people, and keep your eyes open. We are operating behind enemy lines with minimal support on this one, and every bit of intel we bring back has the potential to help us finally end this war. One more thing. The scout ship Jim Bowie is joining us for this operation on loan from Fleet Intel. She has a special operations team on board should the situation call for their assets. They have the highest security clearance and even I do not know their true names and military background. If they ask for your assistance, you need to drop whatever you're doing and comply. Moran out. Morning, archers. We're minutes away from jumping into the Loki system. This is enemy-controlled territory, so we're expecting a toasty warm reception at best, and a flaming hot one at worst. Alpha Flight will be Stingray, Sandman, Ninja, and Assassin. You'll launch from the Hermes the moment she secures from jump stations. The rest of the archers, as well as every other squadron on board, will have fighters prepped as well. We will be deployed depending on the tactical situation. The Jim Bowie and John Paul Jones will be jumping in as well, but the rest of the battle group will hang back in Blackmane to take part in something else that the Skipper has cooked up. Alpha, once the immediate area is secure, you will proceed to Nav 1 and Nav 2, clearing a path for the Hermes. Enemy patrol ships and sensor buoys are primary targets. The Jim Bowie will be jamming both nav points, so the cats won't be able to get a message off or get a fix on our forces. But the greatest danger to this operation is a fighter identifying us and escaping. Once this sweep is complete, you'll rendezvous with the Hermes near one of the system's asteroid belts at Nav 3. From there, you'll escort the Hermes into the asteroid field to an appropriate hiding spot. Only when the Hermes is secure can we begin the recon operation. Questions? Dismissed.
as expected, the welcome committee. Help away to a clearance to launch. No way out to find it, Come. Scanning initiated. Communication blackout successful. to our presence? Negative. The cats were unable to penetrate the jamming field. Understood. We are proceeding with our mission. Alpha Wing, proceed to Nav-1 and start your sweep. 
Proceed to next waypoint. Multiple fighter contacts! All fighters break an attack! Secure. Proceed to next waypoint. More fighters. Looks like they're escorting a couple of transports as well. I wonder what they're hauling. Who knows? Let's make sure they don't get to their destination.
Archer Alpha reporting in. On station at NAV-3. Roger, Alpha. Everything's going according to plan. We're proceeding toward the asteroid field. The clutter from the asteroid should help mask our radar signature. We should be ready for phase two. Jim Bowie, are you in position? We've reached our station. Proceed with the next phase. Inform the rest of the battle group. Roger that. Activating jump probe. Probe has entered the black main jump point. Confed warships jumping in. IFF is consistent with the Olympia, Fletcher, and Bentley. We have ceased jamming and the new arrivals are pinging the system at maximum output. The cats definitely see them now. Are the cats taking the bait? This is as close to a kick me sign as our ships can get. Stand by. The cats are taking the bait. We're now detecting vector changes of at least four vessels in the system. They're converging on our ships. I take it the cats don't know about the Hermes. Negative. They're making no indication that they're aware a carrier has infiltrated the system. 
It appears we have the enemy ship's foot and line. Captain says it's time to drop the sinker. Foxtrot, Gulf, you are cleared for launch. Light up that billboard. Roger that. Confirmed. Longbow 9 and Zero 2 under power. Hermes and John Paul Jones proceeding into asteroid field. Alpha Wing, maintain close escort and destroy any indigenous objects. Indigenous objects? You know, asteroids. Alpha Wing, our senses are picking up enemy fighters and bombers inside the asteroid field. Got it. All fighters engage those bombers. Oh, and uh, try not to run into any asteroids, guys. Bombers should enter the fray in a matter of minutes. 
Roger, Jim Bowie. We have them on our scope. You can now proceed with our main objective. Understood, Hermes. Entering communications blackout. Archer Alpha. Archer Bravo is cycling up to relieve you of cap duty. You are cleared to land. Mission complete. Excellent work, Alpha Flight. Recon missions are right in the arrow's sweet spot, aren't they? Their low RCS is better than all the armor in the world on these clandestine operations. We just received word that our forces slipped in behind the distracted cats and decimated the enemy force, taking out three corvettes and a destroyer. Our escorts are en route to rendezvous with the Hermes now. We don't want to stay in Loki any longer than we need to, so expect a lot of sorties in a very short amount of time. Being one of the Aero Squads on board, we're going to get most of the work. Dismissed.